Just enjoying the free smells, Chad. This is yeah. fantastic. This is great. It's all, it's, it's, um, they're free smells. The free smells. <laughs> yeah. We're getting ready for Haunted Hops Barbecue and Craft Beer Festival, September 28th, Penhurst Asylum, and supplying the barbecue food this year, none other than our friend Chad Rosenthal. Thank you. Thank you Appreciate so much for, for doing it this year. We're Thanks stepping for having it up me. this year. Yeah. We're going big. We're excited. Got my guy back there. He's already starting to work on it. I so. love it. A hey, lot, lot of ribs, a lot of pork, a lot of burgers. Have you been to Penhurst Asylum before? I have not, but I've heard good it's things. Super and creepy. Bad things. Yes, it's super creepy. Yeah. The minute you like walk on the premises, like you get the goosebumps. It's a really cool setting for a fall festival. So we look forward to having you there. It's awesome. gonna be a lot of fun. Thank you. What do we have here today? So I just like these are the hits here yeah. at the Lucky Well, and, and all of these will be at Penhurst. Gotcha. So our ribs, which is our number one seller, people drive in from everywhere just to get these, and they're just Memphis style dry rub, St. Louis cut. That Memphis so ribs. That's difficult to understand. Yeah. So they're not from St. Louis. It's a Memphis style. The St. Louis cut is the way that the ribs are cut, like in a boxy kind okay. of shape. Um, dry rub. We season them with our dry rub, which you can see right here. Um, 15 spices. Smoke them for four and a half hours. Rest them. Grill them. And then we hit them back with this, uh, you can see here, this dry rub seasoning on the end. It's beautiful. You know, we kind of like, we like to showcase the meat and the way we cook it yeah. versus a sauce, which we do make great. We make two of them, but um, that's kind of the, an afterthought. Yeah. Yeah. Should we Should we dive in? Should we dig in? Yeah, let's go. Do we I, I've, been, I've been staring at this for like 20 minutes, and I'm like, I'm dying to try one. That's for later. Yeah. Mm. That barbecue sauce. People love it. Um, it's great. But the way I learned in Memphis was the dry rub. Uh, rib and it's kind of all about the rib and then you make a great sauce But we do not put it on the table like a lot of barbecue restaurants do gotcha if they want it They can ask for it. You have to request it. You have yeah. to request it. Yep. So are you gonna like give away your secrets on like the, the barbecue sauce and the dry rib on the 28th or? I am I'm gonna uh, make our house barbecue sauce up on the Gerhardt's appliance stage. Oh nice uh, up on the, They're gonna have a little kitchen set up there at the asylum um, I might leave one ingredient out so you don't know my exact ingredient. <laughs> yeah. And no one will ever know the dry rub, 15 spices. So, and that goes into my barbecue sauce. Wow. So as long as you don't know every every spice in this, you know, the main spices are cayenne and chili powder. And, right. You know, when you see Guy Fieri, he always throws the same <laughs> stuff in. We got a couple other uh, extra interesting guys in there. So not all um, your secrets. You know, not so all my secrets, but so we, are gonna, make, job. Yeah. we are gonna make a sauce and we'll do a rib demo on stage. That's incredible. And you've been cooking did I read right that you've been cooking since you were five? I started cooking when I was five. <laughs> How is that even possible? I, I asked my dad for an easy bake oven. Yeah. And uh, uh, 39 years ago, mm -hmm. it's a little taboo. Like he had to ask all his friends, like, is it all right to get my son an easy bake oven? He just um, wants the GI Joe. He wants the easy yeah, bake oven. Yeah, I had a GI Joe too. <laughs> I think I put him in the easy bake oven, <laughs> made a GI pie. <laughs> but um, yeah, and ever since, just cooked ever since. Cooked through college. Never went to culinary school. Just. Um, you know, cooked in restaurants, opened a barbecue restaurant, opened another barbecue restaurant, opened this guy, Look at and now you. we're uh, expanding to three more. Yeah, let's talk about that. So you have a, another spot coming uh, here in PA, right? I ribs on my team. No, you're good, yeah. Um, yeah, so this is the OG. Yeah. Opened this eight years ago in beautiful Ambler. The Lucky Ambler. Well. Uh, this is my first time, I believe, in Ambler, and uh, this place is incredible. Yeah, I mean, you guys have to come back, right where your yeah. uh, camera setups are. It's very historic. Live blues yeah. on the weekends. Oh, People are dancing right where we're eating right now. Bar is packed. It's a cool. It's an experience. It's not just about you know great ribs and sides. Um, it's the whole ambiance. The ambiance. It's the, whole it's the package, music. For it's sure. the bar. It's the cocktails. Um, we just opened in Warrington, which is Bucks County. Mm -hmm. um, a little bit different of a concept. Open outside. We have outdoor seating, which is cool that we nice. didn't have here. And then 10th and Spring Garden. Okay. In November. Nice. Which is right next to Union Transfer. A little bit quicker service. You're going to be able to step up. We have um, a wood burning broiler that we had made for me down in Texas, and we're going to be doing dry edge ribeyes and tomahawks and like right in front of your face, which is cool. That's awesome. Cooked in charcoal. And then very similar to this concept in Chicago late, late next year. Wow. Um, on the South Loop of Chicago. Yeah. How do you balance that all? I have no idea. No idea. <laughs> We're gonna figure um, it out. I work a lot. But that's kind of how your whole method has been uh, to this date, you know, growing up, trial and error, right? As trial a young and error, kid I mean, and that's what I you know, love about barbecue in general. And, and you know, like I said, I didn't go to culinary school. I kind of taught myself. And sure. um, you know, barbecue is so experimental from changing one rub to the type of wood you use to the time temperature i mean literally you change one thing um and everything changes so gotcha. it's uh, it takes a long time to learn the craft and and you know what you love about it what works for you and um yeah that's what we're doing so this saturday penhurst asylum uh we'll yeah, see you there absolutely <laughs> this saturday i got time